The crowd here today is, is, is it's a fantastic crowd. It, it represents uh, tens and tens and tens of community groups around New South Wales, but it also it reflects a broad movement. We've seen actions of over 3,000 in the Illawarra at Byron Bay. If Barry hasn't got five minutes to come out and take a stack of papers, we, 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 we think that's a very serious thing. And we would, I, I'd take it personally, frankly. It's offensive. The Premier has five minutes to come and talk to 100 people who have put their lives on hold to campaign against a very damaging industry that threatens our water, our health, our very livelihood. Yes. And if Barry hasn't got five minutes to come and talk to us, then shame. Face the people, Barry! Face the people, Barry! Face the people, Barry! Face the people, Barry! Yes, Barry, Gareth! Yes, Barry, Gareth! Coal seam gas mining poses enormous threats to our water, to our food, to the health of our communities. And it is a completely absurd thing that on the basis of a promise from the Premier who said he would take seriously any group any issue where more than 10,000 people in New South Wales signed, he would come out and it would be debated on the floor of Parliament. Now, how can we take that seriously when O'Farrell hasn't got five minutes to come outside and talk to us today? Coal seam gas mining is one of the biggest issues in New South Wales and at the moment, it's still in free fall. The industry is still being rolled out on the basis of prior approvals and it's obnoxious and absurd and it's disrespectful to communities all across New South Wales that the Premier isn't taking this issue seriously, isn't taking five minutes out of his day right now to come out and meet with us. Now again, this is such a new issue in so many ways in New South Wales and really there's only one poll that's, that's uh, extensively interviewed people here. But 74% of people in New South Wales want an immediate moratorium on the industry and they want a full scientific inquiry into the impacts of CSG. Now over 20,000 people, have, have we've collected signatures from over 20,000 people. I'm sure there's lots more petitions out there that still haven't come back in. And of course, it's such a difficult thing in this day and age to be collecting paper petitions, something the parliament still imposes on us, when really concern about this issue is much, much, much broader and this 20,000 signatures represents so many more people than, than those number on that piece of paper today. Yeah. Now for me this issue really cuts to the heart of democracy because when you've got 74% of people in New South Wales showing active support for immediate halt to the industry You've got people coming out on a Tuesday, putting work on hold and coming out on a Tuesday to hand over signatures of over 20,000 people. How much clearer does it need to be who, who does this government represent? And I think the gaping hole that is Barry so far not walking out the door really speaks to that. Who is it? that this government represents if it is not the communities across New South Wales who are already suffering the impacts of this industry. Now I, wanna, I don't want to talk for much longer. I'm, I'm really hoping Barry comes out soon and I think shame on him if he does not. But before, but before I finish, I just want to say I think 
With this campaign, with all of the horrific threats that coal seam gas mining brings, it also brings something quite incredible. And that is communities across New South Wales who are now working together, who are speaking together, and who are creating a campaign that is already having an impact on policies in New South Wales. We vote together too, Jim. We are already seeing changes, whether it's small regulatory changes, whether it's projects that are on hold, not because the government made changes, but communities have made it impossible. Drew said before, the people's moratorium is in force. We need the government to come out and to catch up and to remember who it represents.